Hi everybody, this video is about Anthony Joshua, is about purpose. And if you don't know what the word purpose means, watch this video. Anthony Joshua did a recent interview where he expressed what he was thinking and how he's approaching his next fight with Andy Ruiz scheduled to be in Saudi Arabia but the purpose of this video is to as I said previously Anthony Joshua is about purpose and purpose, when you think of the word, what comes to mind? Because with purpose, once you have purpose, you cannot fail. Because purpose is not, as Anthony Joshua said in his recent interview, and I'll leave the link below to that interview. He said that it's not about the belts. It's more than the belts. Because purpose is something that when you obtain purpose, even beyond the belt or the belts, purpose will last a lifetime. In fact, purpose is closely tied to destiny. And when you have purpose and you have destiny, that's eternal. It's something that you will possess inside and outside of the ring or anything that you try to accomplish in life. Purpose is power and powerful. Purpose gives you the reason for your entire existence on earth. And Anthony Joshua is wisely pursuing, now pursuing purpose, as opposed to, if you listen to him in the interview, just being a machine just doing a nine to five job, just doing what others want you to do. And he said, I'm doing it for me. What I do from now on will be done for me. In other words, it will be done for my purpose. And in the, in the interview, he also talked about his recent trip to Nigeria, visiting, visiting the slums of Nigeria and the people who, and children and youth who are in such areas to find a purpose that he can live towards in helping others and fighting for others. So when he discovers this purpose, which I feel he has already been thinking, brainstorming, planning, and ready to put into action, when he steps into that ring, whether it be for the last time or for the next 10 years, he has purpose. If you listen in the interview, he actually said, that he may win the next Ruiz fight and resign or retire. Whatever his purpose is, that is what he has made his mind up to pursue. More than the belts, more than boxing, more than a sports, more than being a celebrity, 
more than being a multi-millionaire because purpose is priceless purpose is something that you carry with you into the next life if you believe in the next life if you believe in eternity I think that Anthony Joshua is on the right track and it's funny how people are quick to write someone off when they have a bad day or they do not accomplish that which the public or the general public of the world expects you to accomplish. Anthony Joshua has achieved so much. He's wealthy. He's achieved four belts in boxing that many boxers have not accomplished. He has absolutely single-handedly turn boxing into mainstream TV and popularity worldwide worldwide Fury hasn't done it Wilder hasn't done it Anthony Joshua has done it. And he sure ranks among the greatest boxers that has ever existed on planet Earth to this day. He's had some tough fights, tough opponents one after the other without taking a break a long break he's fought some of the the top uh, top and best fighters in the world and Anthony Joshua made the decision to go to America for the first time without really taking a break and without going into the details of his first defeat I think that Anthony Joshua was running on empty he was tired as most people would agree he did not look like the Anthony Joshua that many boxing fans across the world have come to know or see perform he just had a bad day at work but his first defeat has made him as he said in his own words Go back to the drawing board. Go back to finding out why am I doing this? What is my purpose? Where should I put my passion for the remainder of my career, the remainder of my boxing abilities, of my profession? There's many boxes in history that we can learn from and I'm sure Anthony Joshua will be willing to learn from the likes of Muhammad Ali. And this quotation here says, it's lack of faith that makes people afraid of meeting challenges and I believed in myself. Do you see the purpose here? The purpose 
that Muhammad Ali is trying to express and has eloquently expressed is one needs to believe in yourself not the sponsors not the industry not the belts because the belts will never belong to you they will always be belong to the boxing federations of this world Muhammad Ali stood for what he believed. He stood against enrolling into the army for his spiritual belief. As you can see from this title, Ali versus United States, April 28, 1967. And he stood and he won because of purpose, because of destiny, because of believing in yourself first and foremost, not anyone else, not being subjected to peer pressure, politics, and people are always quick to write you off. Even if you're the greatest of the great. And Muhammad Ali says here gets five years, $10,000 fine. And you can see it says fans right, Cassius off. That was Cassius Clay. The same way that they're writing off Anthony Joshua. For everything that he has done. For sports. For boxing. For the world. Mike Tyson. Also got written off. They put Mike Tyson in jail. They stole his money. They almost ruined Mike Tyson. So Mike Tyson has a lot in common with Anthony Joshua. Mike Tyson has a lot in common with Muhammad Ali. That's why Mike Tyson is among the greatest of the great. Mike Tyson has done a comeback which the world should admire. Someone who has not done a degree not done a whole bunch of college studies. Mike Tyson is a fighter and has remained a fighter to this day through jail, through prison, through homelessness, bankruptcy, foreclosure. Mike Tyson, against all odds, is now enjoying life for being a fighter. That's his qualifications, that's his credentials as a fighter. Now Mike Tyson sits on acres of land, turning over 500,000, I think it is a month. And Mike Tyson, in a recent interview said now it's all about the family. It's about making sure that his family does not have to go through what he went through. That's purpose. And that's why Mike Tyson and Anthony Joshua and Muhammad Ali has a lot in common. And it would be nice to see the respect between everybody when it comes to purpose. Because without purpose... You have no backbone. You have no foundation. It's just sinking sand. Which a lot of boxers have experienced. Who's fought hard. Lennox Lewis. Also. 
is a man of purpose, has always been about purpose. Here's the proof. Which mother of any boxer in the world have you seen at the ringside of a boxer more than Lennox Lewis's mother? I have not seen it. And Lennox Lewis standing with his mother at nearly every fight. That was Lennox Lewis's purpose. And Lennox Lewis and Anthony Joshua should sit down and come to common ground based on purpose. When someone has a bad day, when someone's not doing well, as it all happens, as all it happens to everyone on planet Earth, to comment on boxing is one thing. To comment on when someone's not having a good day or not doing well is another thing. But Lennox Lewis is a has been about purpose. Anthony Joshua is about purpose and finding his purpose. And this is the common ground for Lennox Lewis and Anthony Joshua to come together and stand with the greats of this world. What happened to General McLennan? One bad punch ended his career. A great fighter, superb talent, but one bad punch ended his career to the point of disability. And who rewarded Gerald McClellan for all that he's contributed towards boxing? The Boxing Federation should have a fund to help boxers who are injured in the ring. That should be mandatory. If you can have boxing federations for drug tests, you should have boxing federation for injury, serious injuries to boxers who sacrifice their life for boxing. What happened to Michael Watson? Same thing. But Michael Watson, Watson earned an MBE because he's a fighter. He had purpose, and even with the injury, he still was fighting to win something of purpose, and he got an MBE. Frank Bruno almost lost it all. Frank Bruno's done very well. But I'm sure along the way a lot of people have taken advantage of Frank Bruno for being Mr. Nice Guy. And his biggest fight was the four corners of his own mind. And Frank Bruno, I've done a lot of praying for Frank Bruno over the years. Because it could have ended in a mental institution. And Frank Bruno beat the mental institution several times. He beat the medication of these mental institutions. Frank Bruno had to fight for his life in, his, in the four corners of his own mind. What a fight. But Frank Bruno seems to have won the fight because of purpose. Without Frank Bruno finding purpose within himself, he would not be still in business today. Frank Bruno, like Muhammad Ali, Anthony Joshua, Lennox Lewis, 
Michael Watson, Gerald McLennan, and many other boxers. Even Tyson Fury, the comeback from drugs and drink. He had to find purpose. And Tyson Fury needs to relax the way he talks about people. Remember that he's no different. He's been there. He's been in dark places. And he's just been fortunate to find new light, a new way, new energy, new passion, new purpose. Evander Holyfield. I'd like to see Evander Holyfield come back. I've literally, literally walked into Evander Holyfield's home when he lived in Atlanta, Georgia, in the mansion that Rick Ross now owns. Beautiful, beautiful property, real estate, home, land. I know it very well. I know the area very well. For many other reasons. And Evander Holyfield still needs to find a comeback for his life and purpose. I'd like to see him come back to the multi-millions and enjoy the earning power that Mike Tyson has right now. So Evander Holyfield, I think you can brand yourself. I think you could still do global business. You just need the right people around you to show you what to do. So the whole entire question for anyone who's watching this video and the value that I would like to share with everyone who watches this video is to ask yourself the question, what's my purpose? And I got this from watching Anthony Joshua's video, the, just the recent video, and I'll put the link below. Because it, I was trying to find out what is he really thinking? What is he really trying to express and share? What's really going on in his mindset against all these ridiculous YouTube videos and, and, and everyone's opinion? And How can you have an opinion when you've never stepped into the ring? How can you have an opinion when you've never fought for your life. Life has many lessons to teach each and every one of us. And you have to take the rough with the smooth. You have to fail. Most successful millionaires and billionaires will tell you you have to fail. You have to fail more than once. In all honesty, you have to fail a whole lot to understand your purpose, to understand how really strong you are. What's my purpose is a deep, high, wide, long road long planning but the beauty of purpose is when you find that your purpose it humbles you it relaxes you it makes you understand I'm not even doing business I'm not doing a job I'm just doing purpose and I'm so glad that Anthony Joshua is going into the 
the Ruiz to fight wherever it's going to be, whether it's Saudi Arabia or wherever, based on purpose. Because I know if he steps into that ring with purpose, there is no way Ruiz can beat Anthony Joshua. If that's his frame of mind, and he steps into that ring with purpose, there is no way, as good as Anthony Andy Ruiz is, he's not going to beat Anthony Joshua. Yes, he put him on the canvas four times. And most of these commentators are looking at it that way, but he had a bad day. He was running on empty. He needed this to happen to correct and show him a bigger prize, more value, a priceless commodity like purpose which I'm sure if Lennox Lewis watches this video Ivan the Holy Field watches this video Mike Tyson watches this video Anthony Joshua watches this video what price can anybody put on purpose it's priceless right so I'm gonna end this video and I Pray and hope that everyone finds purpose. And that's why we have people like Nipsey Hussle who had purpose. That even after assassination, brutal assassination, your life cut short. As Beyonce said, Kings never die. Find your purpose. Thank you for listening. If you're on YouTube, please share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for listening.